All right, guys, first I'm going to show you how to send crypto from one wallet to another wallet, from one Ethereum account to another Ethereum account. And after that, I'm going to give you a couple of more details around the subject to you know put some meat on the bone. Right now, let's send some crypto first. So we are in my demo wallet number five with this Ethereum address, and we are going to send it to the account four, this one here. We can do this relatively simply. If we click on send, we can either paste an address where we want to send some crypto to. We can also paste an ENS domain. Um, I'll tell you about that in another video. Or we can just select the option transfer between my accounts. Since we are transferring internally from account demo five to account four, we can just use this option. And if we select max, for example, we can send all of the crypto that I have in my account right now to the account number four that we have selected. As you can see under estimated gas fee, we can see how much it will actually cost us in USD terms to send this amount of crypto. And it's quite expensive. But let's do this to see how this will actually work. I click on confirm. Now the transaction is pending here. And usually we will have to wait a little bit for the transaction to go through. The networks are quite busy today, so it might take a little bit longer. But now the transaction has gone through. We received a confirmation here and the money has been sent. As you can see, my demo five wallet is now almost empty. And if I switch over to the account four, the crypto is here now, minus, of course, the transaction cost that we have spent on this transaction. All right, this is the most important functionality of the MetaMask wallet, beside the Web3 login, which I already showed in another video. Another thing that you will probably want to know is to understand when you receive some crypto where it came from. So right now you can see that this position just popped up. That means that it has locked that transaction that we've just received and we can actually have a look at it by clicking view on block explorer it will open up another window etherscan.io and here we can see that there was a transaction with this hash it was successful and this wallet here from this wallet here sent some crypto to this wallet and um here we can see the amount and the transaction cost. So it's actually quite useful to know about Etherscan when you're starting out in the cryptoverse to have some ability to investigate and to see where transaction come from, where transaction go. Uh, I think it's quite important to slowly understand some of the background technology. All right, guys, so this is pretty much it for this video. I think we have received crypto, we have sent some crypto. This should be sufficient for you to move on to the next step in your Cryptoverse journey. If you enjoy this type of short tutorials, please do subscribe to the channel and do hit the like button to help promote this particular video. Thank you guys. I see you in the next video. Bye bye.